Good morning, church. Today I want to read from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3. The Lord calls Samuel. Now the young man Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent visions. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go and lie down again. So Samuel went back and laid down. And the Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go and lie down again. Now Samuel did not know the Lord yet, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again, the third time, and he arose and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the young man. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lay down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Samuel went back and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood, calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel, at which the ears of everyone who hears will tingle. So here we have Samuel ministering before the Lord, sleeping by the Ark of the Covenant. But I hope you noticed in verse 7 it said, Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. He was ministering in the Lord's temple, sleeping by the Ark of the Covenant, and yet did not know the Lord yet. For it says, the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. I find that amazing how Samuel would have been familiar with the things of God. He would have been familiar with the practice. He actually ministered to the priest of Israel, Eli. And there he was ministering before the Lord, but not knowing him personally. Because the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. I wonder how many of us can grow up in familiarity to the Lord, but not really know him for ourselves. We can follow the things of church. We can follow the things of this Christian religion, but not truly know the Lord. Now, Eli came to his senses and he realised that, Samuel, I think the Lord might be calling you. And what he said was very wise. And I believe in these days that we're living in, this is crucial. He said, when the Lord calls you again, say, I am listening. Now, we've been brought to a state in this current climate and kind of fed up we keep saying this current climate. But the church has been brought to a season of where we've had to do things differently, but more than anything else, as individuals where we haven't been able to go to church, is this, we've had to stop. So in our stopping, what are we relying on? Because the old habits have gone. I believe this new habit God is telling each of us to do and each of us to be, as well as knowing him personally, not just being familiar with him. How do we know him personally? It's this. We need to stop and say to God, speak to me, Lord, for I am listening. We're to not try and work things out too much, to stop planning this and planning that. And just say, speak, Lord, I'm listening. What is it you want me to do? What areas of my life have I not let you in? What areas of my life am I looking for other things to bring me comfort? 
speak, Lord. I am listening. Where do you want me to go? How do you want me to stay? Speak, Lord. I am listening. We're to be those who are spirit led. Led by him. Man plans in his heart, but the Lord directs our steps. Let's learn what it is to truly walk with our Jesus, to know him more, to individually, personally get to know our Lord afresh in these days. Be still and know that I am God. Let stillness and the comfort of our Lord be your guide. Speak, Lord. I am listening. Let's personally put into practice times of listening. Um, I'm trying to do that in my prayer life where yesterday afternoon while I was praying, I, I just went into a time of, Lord, speak. I'm listening. What do you want to say? It may not be instant. Sometimes it might be. But it may be just that abiding in him, we learn to trust him more. His promise is he is with us always. I've seen him prove that dramatically in my life and it's true for you. God's promises are true. He is for you. He is with you and he will lead you. He will leave the 99 just for you. I've heard stories of that this week where God has met individually and power, powerfully with people just to show them I'm with you. I am yours and you are mine. So Samuel's life was never the same after that nighttime encounter with the voice of God. And Samuel from then on grows in relationship with God and leads the nation through his relationship with the Lord who revealed himself to him. So be blessed, people of God. Know Jesus more personally and allow him into those areas of your life. Let me pray. Father, I want to thank you that you are the one who calls us. You call us by name. And I pray, Lord, that we will individually and corporately enter a season of hearing your voice afresh. Jesus, you said, my sheep know my voice. They cannot listen to another. So together we say, speak, Lord, I am listening. Amen. Be blessed, people of God, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye for now.